uh hello guys so today's video is a very special video wherein we are going to try to solve a problem which recently appeared in uh, tiktok coding way or we can say online coding test of tiktok for software engineer role so this problem was very much interesting and uh, let's discuss this problem okay at my place it's midnight right now but uh, recording this, uh, the solution to this problem is very much important for my students or else how will they become successful, right? My mentoring students. And if anyone of you watching this video want to enroll in my mentoring program for DSA and Dev, they can check in the description. So guys, let's get back to business. So the thing is that we are given an integer array nums. Okay, nice. We have to handle multiple queries of the following two types, okay? Given a value x, update all elements inside nums that are less than x to x, okay. Given an index i and a value v, modify nums of i to v, okay. And if we see uh, the length of n is from uh, like the length, the maximum length of n can be maximum 10 raised to 6 and the number of queries m will be maximum 10 raised to 6. So uh, let's discuss it with a small example. Say we are given this array 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1. And now a query comes up uh, which says that uh, what was the query? The query say okay, the query number 1 comes and we are given an x value. Then we have to change all the numbers which are less than x and we have to make it equal to x. So let's say for this array, the first query is of type 1 and the number x is uh, let's say x is 5 if x is 5 it simply means that whichever numbers in the array which are less than 5 you have to turn those numbers equal to 5 so what will the updated array look like we have to return the final updated array so uh, we had 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 2, 3, 4 are all less than 5. So I'll update uh, 2, 2 also 5, 3 also 5, this also 5. Then, uh, okay, 5 will remain 5, 6, 7, 8, 1. Okay. 5 uh, will remain 5. 6, 7, 8, 1, we cannot do anything because these numbers are greater than 5. So we will not change them. And there is 1, but we cannot write 1. 1 is less than 5, so we need to change it to 5. So this is our final array. So guys, I hope you understood like how are we updating the array. Okay. Whenever we get a query of type 1, whenever, see there are queries of two types. Okay. There is query of type 1, there is query of type 2. If you get a query of type 2, na, update all numbers in array uh, less than x equal to x. And when you get a query of type 2, you will be given i and v. It simply means update a of i equal to v. Okay. So guys, in total, let's say we have n queries. Okay. Or m queries. We know that they are 10 raised to 6. So let's say we have m queries. Okay. M queries. So guys, doing this operation is very easy. You just need to set a of i equal to v. So this takes o of one time. But this operation, for this operation, we have to traverse the complete array and then we know which are the elements less than x and then we can uh, update it uh, with equal to x okay so guys this query will take o of n time where n is the length of the array so we are having m queries in total if we try to check we are having m queries okay and the worst uh, like the the maximum time a single query which can take is o of n because for query now query number two is easy we can do it in o of one but what if only uh okay, query number two is easy but what if all the queries are filled with query number uh, one only and query number one takes a lot of time right see query number one you have to update all the numbers which are less than x by x okay replace them by x so this will take o of n time because you have to travel the full array and traveling the full array takes o of n times because there are n elements in the array it is just basic common sense okay nothing special so uh we have m queries the query one takes o of one time and uh, the query two takes o of n time so let's just assume in the worst case all que all queries take o of n time and there are m queries so the total time complexity will be m into n if you write this code uh, in the tiktok OA, 
you will pass some test cases and then you just should just pray that they call you for the interview but most probably it will not happen because the competition is very high these days especially in uh, not what to say so o of m into n is brute force it will not work why because the value of m is also 10 raised to 6 and n is also 10 raised to 6 so if you multiply these two numbers what you get is uh, 10 raised to 12 okay so o of 10 raised to 12 it is very very large you know now in like in a competitive programming or online test the maximum number of operations your code should be doing is 10 raised to 8 because it gets executed in one second but uh, o of m into n algorithm requires 10 raised to 12 operations which is just way too much much greater than 10 raised to 8 so it will take way too much time compared to one second two second whatever so this is uh, clearly not optimal so let's try to discuss uh, some optimal solution to this so guys while solving these type of questions now we should really really focus upon our observational skills so okay so guys what would happen if you do only operation 2 let's think about it what was the operation 2 operation 2 is given an index i and value v modify nums i to v so if only if just assume that we had so many queries let's just assume we had many many queries okay and uh, say we have query 1 2 3 till 10 say okay each query is of type 2, type 2, where you have to update A of i equal to V. This is also of type 2, where you have to update A of, say, G equal to B. So, guys, doing this is very easy. In the array, you can like, directly write this statement and your job is done in O of 1, okay? So, guys, uh, if all the queries were of type 2, there would be no issue. Now, the second observation which I want you guys to do is, what would happen if all the all the queries were only of op operation one guys this is the way this is the way we try to break down the problem whenever the question is telling you now that uh, try to do like minimize this or give the answer by doing one operation one and operation two always try to think how would you solve the problem by just doing one operation do them separately then try to combine them then the problem becomes actually easy okay so let's say we had only operation number two Okay, operation number two. So, say the first query says that uh, you have to make all the numbers uh, like the first query. For the first query, the value of x is 5. For the second query of type 2, just a second, yeah. So, for the second query of type 2, say this is 6, say this is 8, and say this is 3. Okay. So, say you are given an array, you are given a very, very large array. Okay. And what is the first query saying? First query saying is that whichever numbers are less than 5, just update them to 5. Okay. So let's say you had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This was your array. Whichever numbers are less than 5, update them to 5. So I make this also 5, this also 5, this also 5, this also 5. 6 means whichever numbers are less than 6, update them to 6 in the current array. So this also 6, this also 6, 6, 6, 6. 8 this it means like uh, which of whichever elements let's say we had 9 and 10 also whichever elements in the array which are less than 8 update them to 8 so make this 8 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 you guys can see that all the array elements become equal to the larger number okay this is the first observation what is the last query the last query is saying that whichever number is less than 3 update that to 3 so there is no number less than 3 so this query doesn't like you don't you have to this if you execute this query nothing will happen to the array so guys there is one very crucial observation from this uh, thing which we are trying to do okay let's try let me explain it in an easier manner the observation is that only the largest number matters in all the queries okay the other numbers don't matter at all say the first number is uh, you have to make all the numbers less than five equal to five so you do that then then uh, just a second guys so uh, say we had a 5 year okay then we had a 3 year okay then we had a 8 year okay and then we had a um, say 2 year okay so guys my conclusion is that all these operations don't matter only the largest number matters what I mean to say is you only check the largest number say largest number is 8 so the final array in the final array what will happen in the final array nothing special will happen but all the number which are less than 8 will be replaced to 8 this is my 
कंक्लूजन ना हाउ डू आई रीच टू दिस कंक्लूजन आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू लेट मी इंक्रीज दिस लेट्स टेक अ रैंडम एरे ओके लेट्स लेट मी टेक अ रैंडम एरे ओके सो गाइज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू से दैट इफ माई ऑपरेशन वर लाइक दिस that the first operation was query 2 all are query 2 but for this one the number is 5 for the next one the number is 3 then 8 and then 2 so my conclusion is that all these numbers don't matter only the largest number matters okay the largest number means that i am saying that uh, we have so many numbers but i should only perform this operation and the and completely ignore all the other operations and the effect remains the same so say you are given 5 3 8 2 okay 5 3 8 2 So five, three, eight, two are all are our operations, and let me write some random array. One, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So guys, uh, if you observe carefully, when you do the first operation, you have to make all the numbers less than five equal to five, right? So you will make all these numbers five, right? All these numbers you will make it equal to five, right? So one, two, three, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you will add six numbers. All these become five. Then, or whenever a smaller number comes, now it doesn't matter because you have already made all the numbers less than equal to five five. So obviously there will be no number less than five in the array currently. So this three doesn't matter. Only when a larger number comes, now then we are supposed to do the operation. Now it's saying whatever numbers are less than eight, make them equal to eight. That's why I was saying that only the largest number matters. I hope you guys got uh, why what I was trying to explain. Now the second operation is saying that what whichever numbers are less than eight, make them equal to eight. So make all eight. Okay, this also eight. Now you guys, can you guys just observe that now you have made all the values less than eight equal to eight. So if now any operation comes which has having value less than eight, say some guy now comes and tell you make all guys less than two equal to two, make all guys less than five equal to five. Nothing will happen. Why? Because the guys don't even exist now. You have made all the less than eight equal to guys equal to eight. So the lower numbers doesn't matter. Only the highest number matters. So what I was saying is that even if you completely ignore now, see this operation will not work. Even if you completely ignore everything and just made worked on this operation, is that making less than equal to eight? Even then, the final array would look like this only. So the observation is pretty much clear. If you do this, then the solution is like an O of ones, easy. in this operation 1 if we only keep on doing operation 1 na we just need to perform we just need to perform the operation of largest number of x of largest number of x and ignore all other operations all other operations this is a very nice problem based on uh, observation methods okay so uh back in my time i used to love problems like this i still do but i don't get so many much time for them so now uh let's let's try to see can we mix the operation 1 and 2 and reach some stronger conclusions so guys now the things are really easy okay they are not that hard like this problem is really daunting at first if you don't make these operations okay now guys what if we have operations 1 and 2 uh at the same time okay so you guy first uh, thing i want to make clear is that uh, the each index uh, for different indexes the things go different so what happened when you say that uh, operation 1 uh, like wait let me check which operation is which one yeah when you say for that operation 2 a of 5 equal to 8 and say the next uh, operation 2 is a of 8 equal to 3 so these are totally independent what is happening on index 5 has no meaning with index 8 so always remember that thing okay so i hope guys this much is clear so now what i want to say is let's say we have an update operation and uh, we have operation 1 and operation 2 uh, like at the same time so say i have an update operation here okay uh, means less than x operation here I have a less than x operation here as well. I have a less than x operation here as well. Okay, and in the between, I have an update, normal update operation of a of i equal to v. Okay. 
सो गाइज माई सिंपल ट्रिक इज दैट सपोज यू हैव एन एरे ओके सपोज यू हैव एन एरे एंड दिस ऑपरेशन इज कमिंग वेर दे आर सेंग दैट अपडेट ए ऑफ आई इक्वल टू वी सो जस्ट लाइक अ गुड पर्सन वॉट यू डू इज यू अपडेट ए ऑफ आई इक्वल टू वी ओके now guys just to mix up all these operations you know what is the easy thing you can do you just need to check what is the largest x which is coming in the rest of the part which is left in the suffix of the array because once you update it ai equal to v so it means that this number is now equal to v okay this will only get affected if a operation comes which says that uh update all the numbers less than x equal to x and v is less than equal to v is less than x for example say a person comes and tell you that update a of i equal to 5 okay so you write it as 5 then comes an operation which says that update all the elements less than x equal to x and let's say the x is 3 so update all the numbers less than equal to 3 to 3 this this will not change this number okay we just trying to focus and catch up on what will change which number so if any now if v was 5 now if there are x operations which are having values like 5 3 2 1 4 they don't matter only when a x comes only when a x comes whose value is greater than 5 say x comes as 8 8 means what 8 means update all the values in the array which are less than 8 equal to 8 so now you will have to update the this a of i which you did 5 you have to change it to 8 okay so basically what i am saying is that for each index i whenever an update operation comes say here we are having an update operation a of i equal to 5 and here we are having less than x operation less than x less than x operation less than x operation and less than x operation here they are saying 3 less than and here they are saying say 50 and here they are saying 8 okay so if you are changing the index a of i equal to 5 means somewhere in the array there is a number at index i and you have changed it to 5 just imagine the future what will happen in the future obviously as i taught according to the theorem 1 conclusion 1 only the maximum number of maximum number of x value will affect the 5 so less than 3 will not affect 5 at all 50 will change the 5 to 50 then 8 will again not change so only focus on the maximum number which is remaining in the leftover suffix of the array the last part of the array we call it as the suffix of the array <coughs> so guys this thing is really really important okay yeah. cut me some slack let me drink some water so guys my second observation is that uh for each operation of type 2 which is a of i equal to v you only need to consider a maximum of all future less than x update type one operations and guys one more observation is there that only consider the operation to for last index what i mean to say is that you don't need to consider all the indices that's why we will be traversing the array from the end means say you have a query where first query is a of 5 equal to 8 then there are some uh, this is the query of type i think i just forget the type sometimes okay this is the query of type 2 then there are so many queries of type 1 just assume then again a query of type 2 comes and the index is also same a of 5 equal to 10 then again some queries of type 1 then again a query of type 2 comes which says a of 5 equal to uh 2 equal to 5 okay so guys my point of matter is that you should ignore all these queries 
you should only consider the query of here the i was 5 the index was 5 okay right so out of all those three queries you should only consider the last one it is common sense actually because this number is constantly changing so you should only see what is happening in the last right <coughs> because you have to print the final array right sometimes in the they are saying that a of 5 is 8 right then they are saying a of 5 is 10 right then they are saying a of 5 is 5 right so 8 and 10 doesn't make sense because these values got overwritten right so see guys these are the things which you know linkedin influencer or youtube influencer will teach you all they will teach you is those simple easy popular coding interview problems no one tries to help students for these hard online assessment problems only i am in the space who is trying to do that so guys make sure you like and subscribe and support the channel okay and i want each one of you to become successful in life and get a great job so and get good coding skills as well so guys the thing is my last observation is that for each operation of type 2 you should consider the index which is occurring at the end only the initial a of i a of i doesn't matter at all okay <coughs> so uh the second of observation i'm writing i will like mention the link to code question observation this document everything in the description guys don't need to worry about anything so uh, the second observation was only consider the operation two for last index for the index occurring the last time in query so if the same index is occurring again and again in the query then you should only consider the index which is occurring for the last time in that in all those queries okay so this thing is very much important so guys the general problem we have completely solved it this was a very very hard problem and it requires so many conclusions the so time complexity will be o of n plus q because all you are doing is just uh, traveling the array and traveling the queries and getting your job done how will you solve this problem uh this is your query array okay you have query one query two query three query four till query m okay so you should travel from the end okay first you come here you check if it is uh <coughs> hmm. you just check if it is a uh, query of type 1 or query of type 2 if it is query of type 1 say it is query of type 1 query of type 1 query of type 1 then comes query of type 2 so whenever there is a query of type 1 nah, just ignore it don't do anything just note down its x value say it is x i it is x j it is x k just note down xi xj xk and then take the maximum of all those these values okay just take the maximum of all these values because this is very very important then when a of i equal to v query comes a of i equal to v query comes all you need to do is just write a of i equal to v but be a little bit smarter be a little bit smarter replace v by replace v by the maximum of what you got in xi xj X, xk why because only these three because only these three the maximum of these three values will only affect our answer right it will change it because we studied so by traveling the array from the backward side we can always maintain the maximum of x values of type 1 and uh, we can easily write whenever type 2 operation comes right a of i equal to v but don't stop at v compare v with the maximum of all the previous x values then write the final answer okay so a of i should always be equal to max of v comma mv where mv is nothing but the maximum of xi xj xk whatever the suffix values were there so guys the problem is not totally completed let's uh, walk do the walkthrough of code and then we can uh, end the video thanks for joining so guys it's nothing we just uh, take the array take the input okay as simple as that now we have a queries we are reading the queries the language doesn't matter c plus plus or java or python because all we are doing is making 1d arrays 2d arrays and running some for loops that's it no rocket science and python guys instead of map you guys can use dictionary okay 
so here you are taking the input of all the queries nice very nice now you see guys the thing is we start traversing the array from backwards okay we start traversing the array from backwards so i start traversing the array from backwards and check if the query is of type 1 i do nothing i just update vv equal to wi2 wi2 is nothing but the query value with the max of vv which i explained just now here okay that a of i equal to max of v comma mv so that's why this uh, okay yeah okay 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 so if w of i of uh, w of i of 1 it does it means the type of query if we are having the query of type 2 what is the meaning of type 2 query means we just need to update a of i equal to v so i could write g so we write g of y equal to w i 3 w i 3 is nothing but holding the value of v okay so g of y equal to v i wrote but i still need to compare it with the maximum okay the maximum suffix value so vv is nothing but uh keeps track of maximum suffix value of operation of type one or less than x okay for less than operation whatever okay so this is completed and also because we have used this index already we are adding it to our map so we don't use it again because if the index comes again we will not be using it okay guys make sure you guys uh, remember this thing why why not to use the index again and again because i clearly explained here that if a of i phi is coming again and again a of phi is 8 a of phi is 10 you only consider the last index so when it is coming we i am traveling from last to top right so if phi comes for the first time i will add it in my kk map okay but then when it comes for the next time i will do nothing i will just ignore these numbers only the last time it comes it matters okay these are the some common sensical things which if you have a nice practice you can obviously do so the thing is this is how i complete then afterwards you know in the g of i i store all the perfect answers okay so uh, I have initialized the full G of I with minus one. So whenever there is a minus one, I will think what to do or else I already know what to do because I have written the values of G of I. So in case it is minus one, nah, all you need to do is replace G of I by B of I. But make sure if B of I is less than VV, VV is nothing but maximum of this full array. You know, nah? you guys learned nah, that only the maximum value matters. So once you are done updating all the values with the help of uh, operation two, okay, once once you have like solved the question for operation two the operation one thing is very easy okay the uh, because only a of i equal to v uh like these things are very commonsensical now but i can understand that the beginners will not understand that's why i am trying to explain it in it in such depths okay so the thing is that uh, this is the last expression let me give it so the thing is that say uh, you are done updating. Okay, say you had queries like this query of type 2, type 2, type 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, and uh, a of i equal to v. Okay, so this query was saying change a of i equal to something, then this query was saying a of 8 to something, this query was saying a of 2 to something this query was saying a of 9 to something this query was saying a of 100 to something okay you, you did all these values you know now what should be the best answer considering the query one also in the mixture now all that is done but you don't know what will be the value of a of 1 a of 3 uh, or whichever is not included here you don't know right so i am calling all them as g okay g of 1 g of 3 whatever and I, as i filled everything with minus 1 now so these values are filled so these will not be minus 1 but these will be minus 1 so whichever values are not filled i have initiated them to minus 1 and then i fill them i replace them by the original array values and also make sure if i know the maximum maximum because all the values will be updated by the maximum you guys know this fact okay you guys know this fact that if i have many queries like 3 8 2 80 and 5 
if you have so many update queries of less than x you know guys what happens nothing matters this all these queries nothing matters only this query matter and i have given the explanation so whichever indices are not filled you can directly apply this rule on them if they are uh, less than 80 just update them to 80 or just chill out and your life is done so by this you can solve the tiktok way pass the interview and get a good package for software engineer enjoy in your life so uh, i am now stopping the recording let me see where it has gone man okay yeah so thank you guys for the uh make sure guys you like and subscribe